uh, Ray Barker, Sandy Acre. I'd just, just like to um, put this into context. Here we have a, a largest development site in the East Midlands, uh, owned by a <coughs> multinational conglomerate with businesses in many countries. Um, we have a series of government targets regarding housing, so there's pressure from central government. And we have the body ultimately making the planning decision, Erewash Borough Council, a relatively small, almost financially impoverished, if not now, then possibly within the next two to three years, uh, faced with a very serious challenge here and very great pressure being applied from two directions, one from the developer and one from central government and uh, uh, East Midlands regional government via housing targets and, I believe, uh, an agency called Atlas, who are, uh, I'll say, supposed to be assisting Erewashborough Council uh, in bringing forward this site for development. Now, given this situation, do the panellists think that there is any prospect of the Stanton site being brought forward in a manner which will benefit the borough of Eriwash as opposed to the financial considerations of a multinational conglomerate. Thank you. I, I think this is at the heart of what I was trying to say when I gave my, my opening talk, that as you've rightly said, that there are a lot of pressures on the local council um, to make the right decision, whatever that is. Um, I believe that um, certainly talking to other councillors that there is probably a groundswell of opinion that says that we have to get this site right. Um, and so from that point of view, I think that yes, there is a chance that we can get something sorted out that is appropriate to the area. And the major question is how appropriate. And that's why I, I, I was clear in my speech that what we need to focus on is not the roads themselves, but actually what is going to happen at the Stanton site because um, what's going to matter in the end is what arguments you can put forward um, that say that the plans that are being put forward by, um, uh, by the private developer are inappropriate for the area and manifestly seem to be so. So really in order to, to oppose this site, what we need to get are a, a set of excellent arguments that say for X, Y and Z reasons, we don't think it's appropriate to have this much housing. The site is inappropriate for that amount of housing. It, isn't, um, it is situated away from an area where there aren't any easy access, access routes um, and we don't want the access routes to take over as being the, the major issue here um, other than that we don't want them in all the wrong places. We don't want them through our green, greenfield sites. But the way to do that is by, by saying, well, let's make sure that the site we have is appropriate in size, it's appropriate in scale, it's correctly planned, it has all the facilities, it becomes a local area which is self-contained, so it reduces the need um, for it to have um, large access roads to cope with large amounts of traffic. We have to consider all these arguments and put forward the best arguments we can so that it puts us in a good position to fight against this, um, this development. Yeah, yes, I would. Thank you, Mr. Mark, for that, for that question. <laughs> You see, the difficulty that one of the difficulties that we have is that, you know, the current government, the Labour government, introduced these huge targets on housing. They're imposed down, um, and local areas have to meet these targets. Okay. Now, in a way, in a sense, we can't sort of have it both ways. If you want more decisions made locally um, and more control locally, um, then that may ultimately be, and it is in this case, the local borough council deciding. Um, but I would rather have that than somebody hundreds of miles away uh, in Whitehall looking at the figures on a piece of paper and making a decision about the site here. Um, again, we're in risk of a lot of consensus tonight, but it is right to say, Martin's right to say, you know, it's about how it's presented. It's about galvanising support. It's about leadership from the MP. It's about getting those points across. Now, look at it this way. You know, spring came along. You know, they've headed off. You know, the more time that, that it takes, <laughs> the longer it takes, and that the plans are already being delayed again and again, month by month this year. You know, that is a further time for local residents to just increase the ground swell, swell of support. Um, so there, there will be no doubt how local residents feel about this project. And I think to fight off multinationals um, <clears throat> when we don't know what the plans are, 
um, is difficult. I think what groups like this need to do is have a strong opinion of, on what is acceptable on the Stanton site. If enough people can then have go with that opinion to the Borough Council, take that to them before any plans are made. What is acceptable from the people who live in the area? What would we accept? You know, where, what areas could be uh, negotiated or... Um, but from that standpoint, when the plans come out, you can then judge on how good a plan it is, how acceptable you feel it could be, whether it's workable or not. Um, and before the plans are made, the Borough Council know where the people stand, what your opinions are, what you would like to see. We've been speaking of areas and we've been speaking of the route of the road over the back here but do you have you actually been and had a look and seen the actual route and where it would actually be going because what we've got over the back of here is actually something something on par with any of the great bits of derbyshire you know you go up into the peak district dovedale and things like it, things like this do not happen there because it's like, view, well, it is a national park, isn't it? But what we've got here, we've got a lovely piece of land surrounded by urban conurbations. And the footpath, if you, if you just look at the footpath, that says it all. They're just as, the widest footpaths I've ever seen because they're full of people from all over Kirk Island, Long Eaton, Ilkiston, and people travel here, park their cars, walking groups, and come and walk on our bit of land. Um, I, I, I appreciate that you, you think of this as a place, place of beauty, but I think as a point of principle as well, that it is unacceptable to drive a route like that through the middle of countryside when you have got other alternative routes. And I'm not convinced that it um, that is the main proposal for the company. I could see it as, as being uh, the least acceptable route put forward on a, on a map so that the other routes look more acceptable. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not convinced that it They've is. already paid money, 700 grand. They've paid for one bit down here, 50 acres. But farm, they bought it. I mean, I'm with you that I don't want to see the road through there, but uh, I think it's a point of principle that even if it wasn't the best piece of, of land in the area, it's unacceptable as a route to drive through, through a piece of countryside when there are other uh, more sensible routes which are, are more appropriate for traffic flows than that route. Right. Thank you. Um, in terms of the um, the issue about, you know, I, I can see where you what you're saying, and you're trying to sort of say you have a re in your opinion a sort of realistic view. But look, you know, they haven't got themselves in a sense to that starting line. That is the planning application. You know, you've got to be confident of all the background work um, that Green Squeeze and, and other supporters uh, are doing already, building up to this fight. Okay. Um, there is much experience, I've already said this point already, there is much to say about this. You know, let them lay their plans out um, and then the public um, and your representatives will respond. If that was the site that they chose, I would be sat in front of those bulldozers for as long as it takes and it costs them money to then make representation to me and try and get people off that site. I would be there fighting direct action to stop it happening. That's how strongly I feel about it.